Next, let's look at the SOM module. When we expand the SOM module, you see there is a common and a subaddress. When we go into the settings of the common, there's no configuration other than the location text and the zone information. When we go into the settings of the subaddress, you see it's very similar to the configure output settings of the R2M module. We have our general event options, we have our silenceable option, and we have our output pattern. The default output pattern is temporal, but we can choose continuous, temporal, or march code for our SOM output. Again, we have our location text and zone information at the bottom. The last loop device is the ASB. When I double click ASB from the items tab, I have to select which detector or detectors I want to assign an ASB to. Notice on the navigator, when I assign the ASB to those devices, they become expandable, and the ASBs appear. Let's take a look at the settings. You'll see that the configure output settings for the ASB are very similar to the configure output settings for the SOM module. We have our general event categories, we have our output pattern, we have our silenceable option, and our location text, and our zone information.